Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day as we continue this journey to freedom following Moses as he tries to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Hey, do you ever feel like a failure? I mean, I know I do, and, and uh, even when it's not true, I still oftentimes feel like a failure, and, and I just despise failing in, in any way, shape, or form. So how would you respond if God told you to do something, equipped you for that, and then told you, hey, you're going to fail. You're going to fail repeatedly, at least for a while. Be, be kind of tough, wouldn't it? Well, that's the story of Moses. Moses is in, is in Egypt. He's before Pharaoh, and God tells him, hey, you're going to go, and you're, you're going to fail as you do this. So he, this is the story as Moses approaches Pharaoh. Uh, chapter 7, verse 1, And the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, and your brother Aaron shall tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go out of his land. But I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and though I multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring my host, my people, and the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment." Did, did you catch that? Hey, Moses, I want you to go to Pharaoh and tell him about my people go, and you're going to fail. You failing is part of my plan. And, and that's exactly what Moses says. He goes to, to Pharaoh, he says, let my people go, and Aaron throws down his rod, and it becomes a snake, and, and then the, it, you know, the sorcerers in Pharaoh's court, they throw their rods down, they become snakes, and then you know, Aaron's rod, you know, his snake eats all their snakes, and still Pharaoh hardens his heart, and all, all this. So uh, it, it's, it's just part of the thing. And, and at the end of this, here's, here's what it says in verse 13. Still Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, just as the Lord said. So here's the application that I want you to hear today. God has a plan to bless us. God has a plan to bless you if you listen. If you listen to God. When we refuse to listen to God... When we refuse to listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our heart, when we refuse to, refuse to listen to the words of God off the pages of Scripture, um, it never ends well for us. It never ends well. And, and if you find yourself avoiding reading the Bible, avoiding worship, avoiding listening to Christian music, if you find yourself avoiding those places, it means you're hardening your heart. And uh, it's not going to end in a pretty way. So uh, we may think we get away with it. We may think we're doing just fine uh, with our heart being hardened. Uh, but hear the words of the Apostle Paul in Galatians 6. He says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. If he sows to the flesh, he will from the flesh reap destruction. But if he sows to the Spirit, he will from the Spirit reap eternal life. So uh, I'm praying for you today that you will listen to Jesus because that's how your life is going to be blessed. And so I pray that God will bless you and you have a great day.